Hello, citizens, and welcome back. Today, we're asking, does VAR work in the Premier League? The answer, no. But before we get into it, make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. And uh, now let's go. So VAR, I mean, it's a subject, isn't it? It's a subject of, I mean, it's a joke half the time. So many decisions are wrong. You know, even with replays and things like that, they're missing important details. You know, one game they've got to put the lines in for offside. I mean, how do you miss that? Other ones, they're missing punches on players. You know, and it's just a farce, really, VAR. And I, there's a couple of things I wish we could see and hear about it. Now, one of the things recently that's come out and it's picked up again because of it is that Howard Webb, the guy in charge of a PGMOL, I think it is, you know, he's come out, he's been sharing audio of different VAR decisions he's done on Sky Sports, you know, he's been on Talk Sport today. And it's good because we've been getting to hear what the referees and the VAR officials are saying to each other and what they're asking each other during these calls. And you can even hear the refs talking to the players, which is good. And it's a start as well. I think every game, these um these microphones should be heard by everyone. I don't think there's a reason to not have audio available to people watching at home or even in the stadium as well. I think there should be transparency throughout so everyone knows why they came to the decisions they did. Now, is VAR ever going to be perfect? Absolutely not. VAR is never going to be perfect. The reason is, is because humans themselves, they make errors. You know, we've all got opinions and football is a very subjective subject. You know, if you look at it, everyone's got a different opinion and there will always be biases as well. And that leads me to another point, which is that footballers, you know, there's been a lot of calls recently for ex-footballers to get involved in VAR, ex-footballers saying they can do a better job and they should ask them to do it. You no, know, because again, biases, these ex-footballers supported teams when they were boys. These ex-footballers, you know, played against teams. They have teams they don't like. They have teams that they prefer. Everyone has a bias and that includes referees and VAR officials as well. Everyone's got friends in this. So I don't believe that you can get rid of that. And I don't believe that you're always you're going to ever have a perfect system in place. But what we need is audio available to people watching at home. And the audio should be also available in the stadium as well from the referee. There, there should be no reason why inside the ground, when you're waiting for decisions made, whether you want it, whether you're waiting for an offside decision when a player's just celebrated goal and they're all sort of the halfway line wondering what's happening for six, seven minutes while they draw the lines or you argue about whether it's handball or not. Everyone in the stadium should be allowed to see on the stadium and hear as well what is going on in VAR because it gets rid of so much um, the tension and the hate and the just the absolute, I don't know. I mean, fans at the moment, they're sick of VAR because it does. It takes away from the moment in time. That is, you score a goal, you can celebrate. But now you score a goal, you have to wait seven, eight minutes for it to be confirmed. Nobody wants that. And if you clear up a little bit with the audio and visuals in the stadium, you'll get rid of some of that discontent from the crowd as well because most of that booing and most of that hate from the crowd in the stadium is the fact that we have absolutely no idea what is going on for six, seven minutes. We don't know what they're looking at, why they're looking at it. We're told absolutely nothing. And unfortunately, if you pay for a game, you're missing the most important parts of that game because you're not privy to it because they don't want to upset you as fans. So that needs to change. Um, another thing that would change as well is that I wouldn't have referees as part of VAR. I'd have it as two complete separate things. Now you might say it is two separate things. You've got the referee on the pitch, the linesman, and then you've got VAR separate. No, I don't want referees in that VAR booth. I don't want referees, you know, mixing up with the VAR people. I want them to be completely different entities with their own um, officials that they don't integrate and things like that because I don't want them to have their friends in the booth because if you look at a referee make a decision on the pitch, is his friend in VAR going to back him up just because it's his friend? When you like to think not, you like to think they're all got their own opinions and they're all going to be objective about it. But that's not going to happen. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen all the time, but at some point, someone's going to defend their friend because it's their friend. So I want them completely separate as well. And another thing I would do, referees coming on out at the end of the game and talking about his decisions. Because again, we should always be, we should always hear what decisions are being made and why they're being made. And what this VAR audio thing that Howard Webb's been doing when he's been bringing it to Sky Sports and Talk Sport and all that, is that it is letting us hear the conversation between him and the players and how they interact. And it would clear some things up as well. Like when managers have a go at referees at the end of the game, they get suspended for something they said. You know, we, we should always 
know what is happening at all times on the pitch. And other sports do it. You know, you got the NFL. Their referees come out and explain their decision and what happened. You know, they've got um, cricket as well. Rugby, they all do it. It just makes sense that football follows that route. It's not about upsetting fans anymore. It's about getting to the right decision. And if you don't get to the right decision, we should know why you didn't get there. Because like I said, we've all got opinions. We can all argue about it. But it's it, it does need changing and it needs more clarity and transparency. And yeah, I, I, I think VAR's got a long way to go. Yeah, I don't think it's won anyone over. I really don't. I mean, they can't get the offside decisions right. And if you look at the one over the last weekend when I think it was Lerma got punched in the face, how, <laughs> what is it? He's got a broken nose and they've not even gone back to that VAR, said that was fine. It's crazy. But yeah, it's just bizarre. And yeah, it, it just needs an overhaul from top to bottom. And I think that starts with the personnel as well, because they can't be afraid of making their wrong decision so they don't make any decision, you know? Um because they're just going on with the on-field call. Whether it's right or wrong, they're just too scared to make a decision one way or another. And sometimes that's how it comes across. I mean, they're my, they're my, well, they're my thoughts on VAR. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would see change, what you would uh, prefer to happen. And I mean, you can't be okay with it. Let me know if you are okay with VAR in the comments, but I don't see how anyone is. The whole system is broken. And I think with how we're coming out and sharing these little clips, at least we're getting a little bit of an insight to what's happening in the booth. But what I will say is that he's only shown clips where the right decision has been made in the end. He hasn't re released clips where the wrong decision has been made and, you know, let us know why the VAR or the officials on the pitch have come to that conclusion, even though it is wrong. Because another thing that happens with VAR is that afterwards they come out and they apologize for making the mistake, but that's no good to a team going down. That's no good to a team chasing title. You know, they come out, they, they make a lot of apologies and they, they get away with it. I mean, someone should be held accountable for these decisions rather than just miss a, miss a Saturday on the pitch refereeing a game. That's not good enough. I mean, managers get sacked because of this. Players get like suspended and all sorts. These these people need um, accountability as well. And at the moment, they have zero because they're not forced to come out and have their opinions or their um, decisions questioned. And until we get to that stage, Fundamentally, I think VAR is probably going to be failing on a regular basis. It's just my opinion. And like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and yeah, bye-bye.